So we've completed our 16 amp socket outlet circuit, wired in SY Flex, no comments needed below, I know all the issues surrounding SY Flex, however it is part of the awarding body's requirements that we wire the circuit in SY Flex. We, as it's a socket circuit we're going to need to prove the polarity of the pin positions, so we prove the line neutral and earth pin are in the right position. In order to do that the first part of the test which will be part polarity will require me to link line and neutral in the consumer's unit together and take a measurement at the furthest point. We're then going to link together line and CPC in order to achieve our R1 plus R2 continuity reading and that will also complete the polarity test. By testing between line and neutral and line and CPC we prove the position of all three pins within the socket outlet itself. Let's set our test instrument up and a modified lead in order that we can carry out the first part of the test, which is part polarity, testing between line and neutral. So the first part of the test is part polarity, and it's going to require us to test between the line and neutral conductors. It's not recorded, but it's part polarity test. We're going to need to set our instrument to ohms, and we're going to need to remove the resistance of both the plug-in lead that came with the Mega MFT and our modified 16 amp plug top with a 13 amp plug top adapter as well. So first of all, between line and neutral, so we take the red and the blue connections and we go in the red and green section in the top of our Mega MFT. And we're gonna remove both the resistance of each lead. So plug them together, link together at the very end. We're gonna to link together the line and neutral. You get those on, there we go. So link those two together and we press the test button once, we'll see we get a reading, press it again. As long as it isn't flashing zero, 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 we are at zero. So we've moved, removed both the resistance of our plug-in lead, our modified adapter and our link. Therefore, we're ready to test between line and neutral as part polarity. So my test instrument is all set up with my plug top lead and my modified 16 amp plug top in order I get to the furthest point of this circuit. Testing between line and neutral is part of the polarity test and this reading will not be recorded. I've linked in the consumer's unit my disconnected line conductor to my neutral bar and I'm going to take a measurement at this socket outlet. After completing that, I will move the link across so it links together line and CPC. I will change my leads over and remove the resistance and take a measurement which will be my continuity reading of R1 plus R2. This first part is part polarity only and the reading isn't recorded. See what we get between line and neutral. I've got a reading of 0 0.04 ohms. I'm going to record that reading. It's part of the polarity test. I'm now going to adjust my leads round, remove the resistance, and take a measurement between the line conductor and the circuit protective conductor, which will be my R1 plus R2 reading. And also, by doing the second set between line and CPC, I will have completed the polarity test. Let's get set up for that. So we're now ready to test between line and CPC which means we will complete the polarity test and also achieve a reading that can be recorded as R1 plus R2. So we're gonna to need to be using the red and green sections on the end of our plug top lead in the red and green sections in the top of the Mega MFT. I'm still set to the ohm scale. And again, we're going to remove the resistance of the lead, the modified 16 amp plug top and our link by linking together the earth pin and the line pin here and see what reading we get we've got a reading of zero but if we were to press it once we have a reading we press it again we've got zero so it's not flashing zero again so we are actually at zero so we've removed the resistance of both the lead that came with the mega mft a modified adapter lead with a 16 amp plug top and the link so we're now ready to carry out our continuity of cpc and complete our polarity test in the next stage I've changed my test leads over, I've removed their resistance. I've also moved the link from the neutral bar now to the earth bar. So I've linked together the disconnected line conductor to the CPC within the earth bar itself. You can take a measurement of the socket outlet, which we will record. We will record that as R1 plus R2 under our continuity of CPC box heading in our test paperwork. We will have also completed the polarity test by first of all testing between line and neutral and now between line and CPC we have proved the three pin positions of the socket outlet here. Therefore, we have proved polarity of those. Let's measure our R1 plus R2 reading next.
We've got a reading of 0 0.03 ohms, which we will record as our continuity reading. We can also now tick the polarity box because we have proved that all three pins are in the correct position. Let's go on and do insulation resistance test next. So I've carried out the insulation resistance test many times on this channel before, so let's carry out once again. I'll try and keep my hands out of the way. So we're going to connect onto the line conductor and the earth bar. Reading greater than 999 mega ohms. I'm going to move across now and go between line and neutral. greater than 999 mega ohms, and then finally between the earth bar and neutral, greater than 999 mega ohms. I hope this video has been some help.